Yeah, that was a close call. Grape first or museum first, or should we get something to eat? Libation life. Here's the situation. You get a hat and the t-shirt. Well, I blew it. I misread this sign. How about this guy's park job? A big old fifth wheel in the middle of the street. Welcome to Golan. Let's take this to the table. One final thought for the day. Now that I'm in bed. Yeah, that was a close call. This is one of the downsides of having a really awesome rig that doesn't have a toilet. So first stop today was at the old Planet Fitness. It was one mile, six minutes from my Harvest Host site. Whatever I ate yesterday evening, day, I don't know. Turned out to be pretty slippery this morning and I had to get up and come to this to do that. Today, we're doing a portion of the Lariat Loop in Denver, Colorado. We're gonna visit the Buffalo Bill Museum and Grave. We're gonna go to the Coors Brewery and we're going to explore downtown Golden, Colorado. Looks like a cool town, I'm really excited. First, we're going to get the cabin ready for departure. I'm gonna change clothes. We are in a Storyteller Overland stealth mode. And the first night of sleep was really good. The bathroom situation this morning was a little scary. It's gonna be a fun day. You don't wanna miss a single minute of it. Let's go. First first thing we wanna do is get some power into my iPad. It's pretty low, uh, 26%, so is my phone. So the inverter button is right here on the Volta gauge. We press this and we hear the microwave beep. And now we've got 13,000 watts of available space storage. We're down to uh, 85. We carefully measure, can you see this? So this outlet just clears the power brick when the cushion is up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Good job, storyteller. And then this just literally lifts up like that. Tucks in firm. And then there's a little hook back here. I'm gonna leave this down. My pillows are just gonna float around back here. Um, and that's okay, they're not going anywhere. Maybe I'll tuck them in here. So they don't roam around. Um, okay, let's put some clothes away. Uh, I'm gonna leave that for my stuff. What's in here? Galley stuff. So I'm gonna put my clothes back here. Okay, I'm gonna put my gym bag, which contains all my uh, shower house gear. I'm gonna put that duffel bag right back here like that. This rig does have a huge amount of uh, garage space, which is pretty awesome. All right, I just noticed there's a coffee shop right behind me here. We're going to go grab a cup of coffee, kind of get ready for the day, and then we're headed off to Golden, Colorado. We're going to see Wild, or uh, Buffalo Bill, the Coors Brewery, and we're going to explore Golden, Colorado. Been there before? All right, before coffee, let's get some air into the rig. We're going to do that right here on their cool control panel. So fan on. Vent open. And I'm gonna open the window here. It's kind of like an awning style. See how it goes there? It's a really nice breeze. I'm gonna open this one back here too. Like that. So now we're good to go. Coffee time. At the coffee store. I'm gonna put my backpack right here. That's where it's gonna live. This is my towel drying from the shower. I'm gonna turn off the fan, close the windows, and off we go. Fan, off, close, vent. Close the window, nice. Close the window. Nice. Starting route to Buffalo Bill Museum and Grave. Proceed to the route, then bear right onto South Wadsworth Boulevard. You've entered the car park for your destination. Lock. The grave site is free, but the museum costs you $5. That's on top of this lookout mountain. Absolutely spectacular. Don't go anywhere. We've got uh, the Coors Brewery Tour coming up next. Grape first or museum first, or should we get something to eat? Um, let's go get some history first. Have you been here yet? Let me know. This is pretty cool. 
Buffalo Bill Scout, showman, visionary, got his name for as a hunter on the railroad, gained fame as an army scout, became a legendary showman, a man of vision, Cody advanced equal rights for women and his former Indian foes. He introduced new show business techniques and founded communities. He supported preservation of the buffalo and originated the modern rodeo. He was a product, a promoter, a shaper of the American West. At 7,300 feet of elevation, that's pretty cool. Don't miss the movie. There's a lot of people in there, so I didn't want to capture any of that, but it gives a really nice overview of Buffalo Bill, his Wild West show, and how he helped uh, really put the West in people's mind, psyche, when the rest of the world was really turning uh, industrialization and construction of modern techniques. He took everybody back to the Wild West, and it was just really cool to see such a visionary and have uh, the vision of diversity and bringing people together from all walks of life, all around, countries around the globe, and really helping uh, protect the culture of the uh, many of the Indian tribes, Lakota in particular. Really cool. Let's go look at his grave. This medallion commemorates his uh, being part of the Pony Express. An earlier sign indicated he rode for the Pony Express at the age of 16. All right, we've got to hurry. I have a 11 a.m. Uh, timed event for the Coors Tasting Room. Uh, so we got to get moving because it's 1030. And look who we see here. This is our friends, Chris and Sandy in their Travato Constitution. Beyond intentions in the parking lot. I zoomed up on them thinking, uh, hey, no parking here. <laughs> they may realize it was me. So if you haven't subscribed to their channel, Beyond Intentions. That's us. Sandy, Chris. And Benny, where's Benny? Oh, he's in his bag. He's hiding. There he is. And Panther. Ooh, good catch. <laughs> he's pretty much the busiest of my He is life. so great. I'm running for the brewery. We'll see you guys on the way later. That was cool. Love just running into van friends wherever you go. Uh, I'm incognito because that's my rig. And that's pretty cool. And again, look at that. Just spectacular. And some of these peaks off in the distance are... Uh, 12,000 feet tall. That is pretty stunning. This is mid-June and there's still snow in the mountains. Pretty awesome. All right, to Golden, Colorado we go. In 700 feet, turn left onto Lookout Mountain Road. Lock. You check in here after you get your reservation. Sadly, the brewery tour is actually sold out a month in advance so i've got a time ticket for 11 a.m tasting room uh, my navigation took me to the wrong side of campus and so i'm a little late but we're queuing up for the bus take pictures of everything a little factoid from the driver these are brewing tanks uh, they're installing new ones and upgrading the old ones there's gonna be 50 of them when this project is complete we're headed to the tasting room Head over here. All right, we got the secret elevator ride up to the lounge, but first there's some showcases of stuff. You gotta see some of this. This is like Coors famous in movies. Sally Fields, Burt Reynolds, oh yeah. Who's this handsome guy? Yeah, Mel Gibson, old MG. There's Adolph, what's up? I remember when beer and soda pop came to know. Oh my gosh, remember these? funny was that? For your $10 ticket, you get three eight ounce pours. That's where we're headed. I can have All right, over here. Coors Banquet on tap at the factory. Kind of cool. Cheers, everybody. Libation live. My rule is one in, one out. This one caught my eye. Classic, great color. I do like Coors Banquet a lot. Here's the situation. You get a hat and the t-shirt. It's 40 bucks for the combo. Yay or nay? You want to hang in there with me because we're going to tour around downtown Golden, Colorado. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Never been here before, so this is all brand new to me. 
And that's kind of what van travel is all about to me is just roaming around and taking it all in. Yeah, super fun. Uh, best 10 bucks I spent maybe all day. I don't know. It's only noon. So, uh, all right, we're going to get in the van and uh, get out of here. I'm going to make a little lunch before I get into the library. I'll show you how I do that. It's been a lot of fun in the Storyteller. It's a very different rig than what I'm used to. And that's okay, because that's what this is all about. We learn together, we share together. You decide the best way for you to travel in the style you want to travel. And it's, again, a big shout out to the uh, Storyteller team for lending me this van. Some I've always wanted to do, and we're doing it together. I think for short trips, or if you're willing to go to the grocery store on a regular basis, this is a doable fridge. The ice, or the freezer rather, is fairly small, but you get a few things in there, right? So if you don't mind going to the grocery often, it's not a bad fridge. It's really high quality. And when you close it, you can feel it. Isotherm. It's kind of the deal here. So after some beers, gotta go potty, uh, which means I have to go into the library before I make some food and go back to the library and do some work. Toilet break done, and the Wi-Fi is really good. So let's uh, jump in, make a snack, and then I'm into the library to work. You don't need to see that, but you do need to see this. And that would be the river. Great place to read a book or just listen to the river. And by the way, this is one of the great things about uh, Class B RVs is it fits in a traditional parking spot. Now this van's about 19 feet long, so it's a little shorter than mine, but the flare outs, those are okay, but this ladder makes getting, I don't know, just maybe it's an optical illusion, but I had to do a few wiggle wiggles to get into this spot, but nonetheless, here we are. Zoom out for you. Uh, pretty cool rig though, right? There's a lot of vans in this town. I think Miss Lily would be getting looked at a little differently because she kind of stands out. This is the stealth mode, you know. Okay, let's make a bite. We're going to make a wrap with turkey, breast slices, provolone, cheese, and mayonnaise. Yum. Here's a hot tip on dispensers that are normally upside down. What I've found is that because they're always shaking, because the van's moving, that you leave it like this, the next time you go to open it and squeeze it, you get way more than you should. So I store these downside up. What's your experience with that? All right, with that, we're going to deploy the lagoon table right here like that. Move this over, move this over. I've got some postcards to read. Do you like, have you tried turkey provolone mayonnaise? There's a famous uh, eatery in Spokane, Washington called Dominie's and they make these amazing sandwiches. Well, that's where I learned about turkey and provolone. <laughs> Okay, with work done at the library, got another video uploaded and another video edited. Uh, let's go hit downtown Golden, Colorado, show you some of that. And then I'm gonna prepare for urban camping on the street tonight in Golden, Colorado. Pretty awesome. Let's go. Slight change of plans. I've actually decided to uh, get my urban camping spot for tonight. I've been keeping an eye on these signs. I'll show you outside. What I'm gonna do first is put the window covers in back there and I'm gonna do a change of clothes because it's cooling down pretty readily. So uh, first thing we wanna do is turn off the display. So we push the sleep, uh, sleep button right here. Good night. On the Volta, we press the good night button and then those no longer make any light. Uh, I'm gonna cover the back windows for sure. This window, I'm not gonna 
cover because that's where the fresh air comes in. Um, ball toss on whether I do this window. I don't do any of these cab windows in a ball toss on whether or not I do this window. This is my first time putting these um, shades in. I'm really enjoying the Storyteller unit, except for the toilet thing. Um, this is a very manageable floor plan. I love the size of the rig. I have to say, I haven't missed those two extra feet in my van. Um, I could probably live with the galley, could probably live with the table situation. The bed is getting, uh, uh, I'm getting used to it. And what's great about uh, the street parking situation here, the, the van actually curves into, curves into the curb. So my head goes here. So I'm actually at a slant in the right direction, which is pretty cool. So I'm just really enjoying this very different van experience. Just the negative for me is a toilet because I'm just used to having my toilet with me all the time. So um, I don't know. Let me know what you think. We're going to go stroll around here in a minute. I'm going to put the shades in, change clothes, stroll around. And we're going to call this a wrap. Uh, when I get back to the van, make a quick meal and then we go down for the night and that'll be the end of this video. Uh, then we're going to wake up in the morning, start a new video. And we got more stuff to show you uh, as we wind down our last day in the Storyteller Overland. Oh, yeah. All right, we got the backs installed. That's pretty good. Wow, the change in in um, echoes really different with those in. So that's going to protect me there. This one I'm not going to worry about yet. I'm going to open this up to get some fresh air in here. And I did change my mind on these because these windows are so big and so exposing to the bedroom, which is kind of exposed compared to my rig. Um, I put these in. Uh, what's kind of neat is they have these, uh, Storyteller makes these these um, window covers. They have this little tab thing so you can let the fresh air in. I've already opened up the window. So again, we're going to tap the fan on, open. On. There it goes. And now we get the breeze coming in from the back bedroom and this window here. It's supposed to start raining in a little bit. So I think what I actually might do is close this just in case we don't want to get their upholstery wet. And then that will have me open up this other window on this side. Right here. Sorry for the video. You see that cranking? That's much better. And then I'll uh, roll this up like that. Pardon the shaky video. Real time stuff here. Clasp that. And good. So the air's coming in really nicely. Um, still pretty protected from the outside. These I'm not going to worry about at all. If somebody's trying that hard to see inside, they can take a look at this cool van. This is putting in quite a bit of light, which is awesome. All right, let's change clothes and get moving to Golden, Colorado. So there's no parking on many of these blocks near downtown. Uh, seven uh, to 11 daily. That side of the street's different. That's seven to 11. Well, I blew it. I misread this sign. So what I got to do is move the van because this is 7 to 11, a city parking permit required. Clearly don't have that. Kind of going around the block. How about this guy's park job? A big old fifth wheel in the middle of the street. Yeah. What's up with that? I'm trying to get close to the sidewalk curb out of the driveway. This is pretty good. Nothing really around, right? Good. Shut her down. Only a block from where I was. All right, let's try this again. I parked here on purpose so nobody can really get behind me. Um, but I clear the driveway. Again, checking the signs. This is all good. And here we go. Pretty cool. Have you tried street camping? Discreet parking? urban camping as I call it. Uh, you really want to give that a shot. If you haven't done a number of videos on that, because um, until you live like a local, you're not really traveling like a local. Just saying. 
visitor center, always a good idea to stop in there to get the local scoop. And what's cool here across the street is public toilets. For those of us that don't have toilets in our vans, that might be something to do in an emergency. This is Clear Creek, thousands of years. Native peoples have been using this creek for all kinds of things. It's moving pretty swift. Don't you like it when a good downtown district puts in a map that you can read? We're right here, just across the creek, right? So we're just gonna take a stroll down here. There's a few things that caught my eye, including Old Capitol Grill and Smokehouse. This was actually the state. And the other thing that catches my mind is Miner Saloon. Who doesn't like a good saloon? Especially me. There's a lot of cool things here. I'm kind of hoping to find some really interesting stuff. Festooned with my new Coors hat, what do you think? I kind of like it. I have two hats. I got my Volta hat, now this. Here's the gate to the city. Welcome to Golden, where the West lives. 150th year of the Colorado's oldest high school. This is the old Capitol Grill. I think we check this out. I know why they called this the uh, Capitol Grill, because this used to be the capital of Colorado from 1862 to 1867. This was the Capitol building, and uh, then it moved to Denver, now the state capital. 160-year uh, history, it's been a general store, saloon, hotel, and restaurant. It's pretty cool. A cool place, lots of history. Lots more to see and do, though. Let's go! This building's pretty grand. Look at all the river stones. It makes up what apparently was the armory. The big lamps it says that this was built in 1913. Back to the van, we're gonna make some dinner, gonna make a chicken Caesar salad, show you how to do that. Uh, the rain is coming soon, um, but loving this. How about you? So what we're gonna do is make a quick Caesar salad using spinach. We've got the spinach, chicken strips, weed, Caesar salad. Uh, we've got some plates right above you. Stand by. It's an easy, simple meal. They were charging $14 at the um, restaurant for basically the same thing. Just a little spinach. I find spinach holds up better in the van. Now these are already cooked. And they're chilled. I don't know, what should we do? Chilled or warm chicken breasts? I'm gonna heat it up. Let's just kind of demonstrate the Volta system. Let me get another. Pardon. I don't know, what do you think? Enough? Uh, let me turn on the inverter, which makes it super easy here. One touch, inverter on. One minute, but probably give about 30 seconds. Let's test it. Mm. This is from Target. It's about nine bucks. Definitely have a number of meals in there. On the spinach, like that. Salad dressing. I like this stuff. You ever tried it? Kind of available everywhere. It's pretty yummy. 
light right here is pretty cool, right? And let's take this to the table. And there we go. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy this. And we're gonna try and empty this because I'll be filling it later. That's the way we roll. You get the idea. It's time for dinner, so that's enough toilet talk. Clearly, I didn't like that. Put this uh, away, and then I'm getting my uh, overnight clothes on. I'm getting into bed. It's been a very long day of recording. Uh, next up in the morning is to do a shower in the um, Halo shower system. You know, that's this thing, right? First time trying that. Uh, so until we see you in the morning, or until we see you soon, we like to say journey on. And for some of you, that would be to get your journey on, right? And for all of us, peace be with you. See you. One final thought for the day. Now that I'm in bed, floor plan not super conducive for urban camping, Street camping, that would be discreet on-street parking. Why? Because you're really exposed to everybody looking at you out here. Uh, my floor plan in my 59G, uh, it's pretty private in the bedroom area. And you're not subject to folks looking in. I'm still not going to cover up the windows, but... Again, this floor plan um, just doesn't lend itself to a lot of privacy in the van because of the open nature of the floor plan. I see a little lightning going on. Um, I'm going to be just fine tonight, but um, as long as the rain doesn't pour so I can keep the fresh air coming in, uh, this is pretty comfy. So, all right, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.